Work on Cable Systems, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. This evening via tape delay from Colonial Field here at York Run Crossroad, the home of the Albert Gallant Colonials. We bring you WPI All Quad South Action as the Laura Islands Mustangs meet the Albert Gallant Colonials. Hi again, everyone, along with Jerry Dupay. I'm John Kazarek, voice of the Laura Highlands Mustangs and voice of South Union Township Sports as we bring you a game tonight where we're going to get one team coming out of here with win number two on the season. Before we come back with a quick look at the starting lineups, let me remind you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage is being brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Coble, and Tom Frankhauser, Helicon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Craig Tomchak, and CU TV and our main man there, Mr. J. R. Wheeler. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Pay. We're coming right back with a look at the Colonials after this. Foundation. It's in conference play, one and seven overall. Last year, two and eight ball club. They defeated uh, LH in a good one up at uh, the Mustang Field last year. Starting in the middle, Ken Perkins, number 54. He's 6'2", 255, a junior. The guards, number 75, Sean Gaster and Justin Grimes, number 50. A couple of big guys, 6'3", 280, a junior is Gaster, and also an 11th grader, 6'3", 250 for Justin Grimes. Steve Myers will be the tackle. He's 6'4", 290, a senior. The other side, Jason Hyde, number 64, 6'1", 280, a senior. As always, AG with some big people from tackle to tackle. The tight end, Odell Brookins, he is 6'4", 225, a senior, number 20. And the starting wide receivers, Jake Roderick, number 30, 5'11", 190, a senior at the split end. Your flanker is Jerome Vicinelli, number three. He's 6'1", 170, and a senior. The quarterback, Skip Lavery, he's number 10, 6'3", 190, a senior. The fullback will be Aaron Dews, number 22, 6'2", 220, a senior, backed up by Sean Foster, number 39, 6'2", 223, is a senior. Your tailbacks, Brandon Swaney, number 33, 6'2", 205, a senior, and Jared Plisco, he's number nine, 5'10", 190, a junior. I want to thank Jared. He was up here early with us and helped us with the uh, starting lineup for AG. Their kickers today, Myers will handle the punting, Sean Smith, the PATs, and the kickoff. So we'll be back. Quick look at LH after this brief timeout. Thanks, starting lineup under head coach Jack Beaner. Nine years with the program, one and seven overall, one and five in conference play. Their only win coming over Latrobe. It'll be Keith Bullish, number 51, a 5'9", 190 senior at the center, along with Justin Ward. These two guys will alternate. Ward is number 53, six foot 195. The guards, Big number 50, Ian Etheridge, 6'4", 225-pound senior, and he'll be joined up front by Ryan Segman, number 55. He's 6'2", 240, a sophomore. Look for Dave Braun, number 75, a 6'1", 250-pounder also to see action here. Your tackles, number 66, uh, Mike Creighton, 6'6", 250, a senior, and Mike Grimm, number 79. He's 6'3", 265, and a junior. Your tight ends. Joey Price, number 80, a 6'4", 205 junior, and Jeremiah Wally, number 82, 6'1", 210, a senior. The wideouts, Justin Detep, number 11, 6'3", 170, a junior. Rusty King, number 23, 5'8", 145, he is a senior. Also look for Eric Fronsek, number 14, a 175-pound senior, and Daryl Samuel, a 150-pound senior, number 26. It'll be Danny Bosnick. The quarterback, number three, 6'7", 200 pounds, he's a junior, backed up by Justin Detep, number 11, 6'3", 170. He's a junior. Your tailback will be Travis Matthews, number 28, 5'8", 170, a junior. Backed up by Nick Lyon, number 22. He's uh, 5'9", 150. He's a junior. At the H-back, it'll be Russell Gibbs, number 10, 6'1", 170, a senior. Or Kevin Rooker, number 30. He's 5'10", 175, a senior. The kicking will be handled by Danny Bosnick or Nick Lyon as the punter, Dieter Davis, to kick off and PAT. That concludes our pregame show. Stay tuned. Laurel Highlands Mustang football with the Albert Gallup and Colonials comes up next right here on Channel 62, home of the South Union Township Sports Network. It's Laurel Highlands High School football time. This evening from Albert Gallant Senior High School Stadium, the home of the Colonials, it's WPIL Quad South action as the Mustangs meet the AG Colonials in a renewal of their cross-county rivalry. Hi again, everyone. I'm John Kazarek, voice of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, along with uh, Jerry Dupay to my left. And we will be filming uh, tonight's ball game here uh, for rebroadcast Sunday evening on CUTV, home of the South Union Township Sports Network. That game will get underway at uh, 6.05 on Channel 62 
on the Helicon cable system. Before we get into the start of tonight's game, uh, Rick Hogger, the athletic director at Laura Hines, passed some information on to me. Ellery uh, Kilbach, just a freshman at LH, became the first girl uh, with the LH program to qualify for the state cross-country meet. She will be going up to Penn State next week, so congratulations to Ellery Kilbach and also to the coaches, Ron Morse and Bobby Costello. Laurel Highlands will tee it up as AG won the toss. And they will deploy between safety. It looks like Brandon Swaney back deep. And teeing it up will be Dieter Davis. And across the way also, I think it might be Aaron Troutman, if I can read that number right, 88. LH will be in the white with the blue numerals and the red trim, red helmets, and Davis awaits and now gets the whistle. The run up, and we're underway. The kick is down the middle and short on the bounce. It will be fielded by Swaney. He's got a hole. He's right up the middle, and he gets across the 30 to about the 33-yard line before he is stopped. Cranach makes the uh, stop for the Laurel Highlands Mustang along with Billy Dice. So the first down and 10 now for the Albert Gallatin Colonials. They'll put it in play at the 34-yard line. Bit of a hole that time, and he exploded out. Over the ball now comes Kenny Perkins. They've got wide receivers right and left to the near side here. That's Jerome Vincinelli. High formation set. Swaney, the deep back. Back to throw. Pressure coming from Neverdale. Pass in the flat. Complete. And it'll be a game close to the first down. They got it out here to do. Bosnick on the hit. And also there, Kevin Rooker. Gain of about nine. Second down now and about one to go. So nice little flare out of the backfield. Two dudes. And I'll tell you what. They may ask for a measurement right away. They're going to take a look across the way. And Officials time out. The way G comes out throwing, and I tell you, pressure came from the backside from number 59, Bobby Neverdale, and he did not get to Lavery, who laid it out in the flat nicely. And the pass completion of nine yards, or close to 10. Let's see as they stretch the chains. And they'll stretch it out. And they will be inches short of the first down. So it's going to be second down and inches. Ideal, and I mean ideal throwing situation right here. The ball is out near the 44-yard line, second and short. You can just fake and go back and throw it deep. Let's see if they elect to do that. Try and set that LH defense for you. Price and Wally will be the defensive end. I think Kingston inside with... Neverdale as the tackles and second and short Etheridge in the middle along with Kevin Rooker as the backers and out here on the outside backer you've got number 46 Todd Russell so second and very very short Dews is the near back and they're going to have a big hole left side and Etheridge hanging on holds him to a gain of about three but he's got the first down Brandon Swaney gets the first down. I tell you, that looked like it might break for big yardage. As it is, he picks up three. So it'll be second or first and ten now. AG moves it out near midfield. Put it at the 47-yard line. No score. Just 30 seconds into the opening period. AG took the opening kickoff. They've moved it out near midfield. Under center is Lavery. Got a eye formation strong to the right side. Tight end set right. Handoff goes up inside, and nothing doing that time as Aaron Dews gets maybe two yards. Hit initially by Russell, number 46. Wally was also there. And number 72, Jared Kingston. So a gain of about, well, we'll give him three. Second down now and seven. Sean Smith, number one, will check in. The ball is right at the 50-yard line, resting at the midfield stripe. No score as we play to the 10-54 mark. Twins to the left side, split backfield in behind Lavery. Under center, the long count, Lavery straight back, pocket pass, out in the flat, and incomplete. Good coverage by Gitep as they try to float it to Aaron Dews. And this will bring up third down, third and seven. So key down for both ball clubs as into the lineup will come Mike Troutman, number two. 
So Troutman, I'll tell you what, now I've got Mike Troutman too, and I guess 88 is Aaron Troutman, so we've got both of them mm. evidently going to see some action at the wideout squad. Big play here. Third down, fake, back to throw, pressure, Neverdale, he's got him. Big sack by Bobby Neverdale as he got through to Lavery, and LH's defense rises to the occasion, and it will be first, uh, fourth down, and about 17. LH will send Rusty King back deep. The punting should be handled by the big guy, Steve Myers. Big play by Neverdale. So LH forces the punt. Here's the snap. It's a good one. And a line drive headed upfield. Fair catch. Rusty King to his knees at the 30. And LH will put it in play. First down and 10. Let's put it right at the 30. Midfield uh, will be the spot equidistant between both hash marks. So LH will have it. First down and 10. Looks like Justin Ward, number 53, is in there as the starting center. No score as we go to the 10.07 mark. Justin Ward breaks center, comes out over the football. King wide to their left side. And Fronsek will start. He was hurt uh, this week. Here's a sprint out. Right side, Matthews. Nothing going. He is torpedoed by Terry Diamond. Loss of a couple. Second down now in 12. I tell you, just nowhere to run, nowhere to hide right there. Number 74, Terry Diamond was right there on the hit. So second down now and about 11. Boy, there was just no blocking on that right side. Out over the ball they come. Price is a tight end. Kings. Split to the left side. A one-back set on second down. Bosnick sprinting the left side. Roll out. Pressure coming. Steps up. Is hit once. Hits twice. And down he goes. And Plisco coming up hard to close. Also was number 39, Sean Foster. Foster got there. Third down and about 15. I tell you, just no offensive uh, movement the last several weeks by LH. You got a block, you got a tackle, and we just not have been doing that. Ward comes out over the ball. This time, the H back. Kevin Rooker will split wide to the left side. Got twins out here to the right on third down. Look for AG to come. And AR, linebackers coming. Fake on a draw. Up inside Matthews. Big hole. He's close to the first down, and he's got it. He's across the midfield stripe, and he has got a very big first down. Great call coming with the blitz. Matthews on a pickup of 22 yards will take it to the 47-yard line. 22-yard pickup by Matthews. And LH picks up their first, first down of the night. I want to say thanks to athletic director down here, Mr. Dan Andrea, for all the help and cooperation he gave us this week. So one of the bigger running plays we've had all season long out near the 47. Bosnick straight back, fires into the middle, and he had King, but overthrows as he tried a little slant coming into King. So LH misfires on first and 10. Clock stopped, 8.44 to go, no score. We're in the first quarter. AG picked up one first down on their initial possession and then had to give it up on a punt. LH has moved to a first down out near midfield. So it is second down now and 10. We'll spot it at the 46-yard line. Sideline to the left side. Open field to the right. And the handoff goes up inside to Travis Matthews. And he is smothered. Maybe a yard, if that. Coming up uh, is Jared Plisco, number nine, making the hit. And I think Terry Diamond also there. I want to say thanks to the 1998 Laura Hollins Football Boosters for helping sponsor LH Football right here on uh, Helicon with the South Union Township Sports Network. President Tom Segman saw him earlier tonight. Also Jackie Fronsek here, Dick Rockwell and Linda Rooker. Those are your officers. Third down now in about nine. No score as we hit the eight-minute mark. Bosnick straight back, pocket pass, has time, rolls right, fires upfield, he's got King, he's in the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, King, took it in stride, and he takes it the distance for the touchdown, 52-yard strike, Bosnick hit King right in stride as he split the middle, and King gets into the end zone to cap a 70-yard drive on LH's first possession, so the touchdown comes at the 7.59 of the first uh, period. And LH on top will go for the PAT. The spot will come, it's on the tee. Look out, looks like a jailbreak as 
It was blocked easily. LH has had trouble with the special teams all year long as Davis' PAT is blocked. LH 6, AG nothing. We'll be back in 60 seconds. We are back and ready to roll as LH has a lead for just the second game this year. They struck pay dirt, uh, taking it 70 yards. A 22-yard run on third down was the key as Matthews kept the drive going, got it out near midfield, and then a 52-yard strike on third down, Bosnick to King, and LH leads it by the count of six to nothing. So the run up by Dieter, and it's hit straight down the middle, fielded on the run, and coming up straight up the middle with it is Paul Krieg, I believe, number 89. Is that what we got? Okay, 39 on the return. Sean, 33 rather, on the return. That's Brandon Swain. He'll take it out to the 40-yard line. So the first down and 10 for AG. First down and 10, AG. LH on top, 6 to nothing as we go to the 750 mark. Kenny Perkins leads the Colonials out under center, Skip Lavery. Offset eye to the left side, moving along the line, no call, the handoff goes up inside and a nice defensive play as LH got to it and Ian Etheridge on the stop as they slipped it off to Swainy. Gain of three, second down and seven. Second down and seven for LH as they'll put it down at the 42 yard line. LH on top, 6-0, wide to the right side. Now goes Jake Roderick. Aaron Trotman will come wide to the left side. Eye formation, strong right. Handoff goes up inside to Dews, and Neverdale's waiting right there in the hole to smack him down. Big hit by Neverdale, his second big hit. So Neverdale holds him to no gain and actually might have lost a half yard. Let's call third and seven now as they'll spot it down. Out near the 42-yard line, seven minutes to go. We're in the first quarter, LH on top. Wide to the left side now comes uh, Sean Smith. Got a slot inside of him and a flanker set right. Back to throw, pressure up the middle. The pass is tipped and picked off by Cranach. His third interception of the year. That ball may have been tipped, I'm not sure. But Cranach right there to make the grab. Number 20 for LH. Mark Cranach with a big pick at the 45-yard line. Interception by Cranach. Just sat back in there and closed on the ball, and I couldn't tell if it was tipped or not. It'll be first. It's at the 45-yard line, LH, first down and 10. Out over the ball they come, 6-0 the Mustangs. Under center, Bosnick. Straight back, has a lot of time, looking, looking. Going to fire into the middle, and he's got his man. That's Samuel, close to the first down. Daryl Samuel knocked off of his feet by Jared Plisco. And let's see where they put it down. Going to be a little shy of the first down, so a nine-yard pickup. So Bosnick has hit his last two. I tell you, give him time. This is the key. If Bosnick has time, he's got a rifle back there. Clock running now as we hit the 6-16 mark. 6-0. LH on top, Bosnick. Matthews, and very close to the first down, depends on the spot, of course, and down below on the bottom of the pile, making the hit, Art Craig, number 65, and I think they're going to have to call for a measurement, or let's see, no, he'll be short, third down and inches, literally inches to go, into the lineup comes Gitep, Samuel checks out, got to hustle, guys, you cannot get the delay right here, you got to hustle, out over the ball they come, and that is number 53, Justin Ward, leading them out. Look for Bosnick, straight out. Got a little bit of a gap to the right side, and they close as he goes that uh, left side, and he's got the first down. So Bosnick has the first down on the keeper. He'll stop the clock, center of the line. They're making the play. Sean Gaster, 75, one of the last to get up off the pile. So LH has moved it now to the 44-yard line at the 521 mark. LH on top, six to nothing. This drive was set up by Cranax interception back at the 45 yard line. Mike Grimm comes out to the right side as the tackle. Twins to the right side on first down, Bosnick. Rolling left, has some time. 
Looking upfield, firing. This will be picked off. He threw into coverage and coming up the field for Albert Gallon with some running room. That's Vincinelli. And he's into the AG bench before he is knocked down by Travis Matthews. So Jerome Vincinelli on the INT. Bosnick trying to get it to Gitep. And first down and 10 going the other way. So AG will have it. First and 10. Put it down at from their own 43 yard line following the turnover. So the interception by Vincinelli. And AG will set up shot first down and 10 at the 450 mark. Under center, Skip Lavery. His ball club down 6 0. Long count. Pitch right side, looking for the hole, and down he goes. Big hit by Gitep on Brandon Swainey. No gain, it'll be second and 10. Gitep with the unassisted tackle, and he'll mark it right at the line. Line of scrimmage. Just out past the 43 yard line. <laughs> Perkins out over the football. Split back in behind. Lavery under center. Barks out the call. Straight back. Fakes the draw. Pressure coming up the middle. They get to him late. Pass complete upfield. And getting there on the hit for LH was Rooker. Swainy complete. Short gain. Call it third and seven now. Late pressure coming. So it's third down now with 348 to go. LH leading at six to nothing. It's at the 45 and Kenny Perkins leads him out. Third down and seven. Back to throw. Larry sets up. Floats it over the middle, and he's got his man for a first down. Brookins, the big tight end, on a delay. Bosnick on the hit with Cranach and Russell and Rooker. They'll pick up the first down and spot it at the 45-yard line. First down and 10. Nice little delay as they waited for the uh, wide receivers to clear and then sent Brookins over the middle, and he made the sure-handed grab and a pick up two the 45 yard line first down and 10 eye formation under center lavery gonna fake and now the handoff goes up inside nice play by kingston he and neverdill combine on the hit and they stop laver or swaney rather after a short game 257 to go lh in the first quarter leading it six to nothing going to lie on Chuck Durso here at halftime for our, as he said, very unofficial stats, but he can do a lot better job than we can do here tonight. I'd say nice facilities, but we are a little crowded in here tonight. A couple of radio stations, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of sports writers, PA. Real nice facilities. Always glad to come down here. Motion now. And fake it. And no, I'll tell you, he faked me. I thought it was a quarterback going back. Kingston's number 72 going to make the hit. Let's see who it was. Are these Dews or Swaney on the carry? It was Swaney. And he is stopped inside by Kevin Rooker. Third and five. Key down right now. Very key. They're all key when you're uh, one and seven. I'll tell you, both ball clubs looking for win number two here tonight. Someone's going to leave awfully happy. Two minutes to go. First quarter. LH on top, six to nothing. Sideline right, open field to the left side. Let's see if they pass. They do. Straight back. Pressure coming. Floated in the flat. He's got his man. It's going to be very close to the first down. Nice hit by Bosnick. Dues on the catch. We got a flag holding. AG, it's going to bring it back. It's coming back, holding against the Colonial. Well, holding, I'll tell you, that is what put gray hairs on coaches you're looking at a first and ten or fourth and inches and you're going to go for it no doubt about it and the penalty will move it back so this one was thrown and will be a 10 yard from the spot and they'll move it back and spot it down where lh now big break for the mustangs clock turning at the 144 mark I want to say thanks to the accounting firm of Smith Lewis Chess and Company who are helping sponsor the South Union Township Sports Network here tonight. Their office is located at 625 Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown and they can be reached at 438-7088.
third down and more than 20. Straight back, Lavery, gonna throw deep downfield. Gatechap, nice coverage, just tipped it away. He and Bosnick uh, got back on Sean Smith. They trying for all of it there. And LH should get uh, the ball back on fourth down in about 23. 118, the clock stopped on the incomplete. Rusty King, Daryl Samuels, the twin safeties. I'll tell you, big Steve Myers, number seven. You don't see too many uh, offensive linemen and defensive linemen handle the punting chores, but he is back there. Got a good one away the first time. He hits a rocket this time down the right side. Oh, look out. Woo, fair catch signal. And as Samuel slipped, he reached up and touched it uh, and then was able to get back on it. So neither team able to capitalize on the interception, one by Cranach, one by Vincinelli. And at the 110 mark, LH will take over first down and 10, deep in their own territory at the 25-yard line. Quarter moving along at a nice pace out over the football. For the Mustangs comes number 53, Gene Ward. Or Justin Ward, I tell you, Gene the dad. I don't think Gene would have trouble getting out there over the ball. The handoff goes up inside and Mustangs pick up five yards. Let's see, is that Travis Matthews? He is on, no, that's Lyon, number 22. Excuse me, number 22, Nick Lyon. Nick Lyon picks up uh, about six, second down and four. I think it was Hyde on the stop. So second down and four, wide to the right side comes Fronsek. Wide to the left side will go King. H back set left as a slot, and they'll hand it off up inside again. And Lyon gets very close to the first time. And I tell you, this young man has not been able to round into form. He was really banged up down at uh, Shady Side Academy, first game of the year, severe ankle sprain, and picks up four on the play. And you're looking at third, literally in the nose of the football. As we wind down to the end of the quarter, let's see if LH wants to get that last play off or if they want to take a, their time. I'll tell you, this is one where you might want to let it run out and then you just go back here and talk to your coach on third and short. Bosnick, I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. it depends on the spot and he will not. Well, I'll tell you right now, I would have let the clock run out and then talk with my coach. So it's going to be fourth and one. We have come to the end of the first quarter. LH on top, six nothing. We'll be back in 60 seconds. And he straight up the gut. And did he get it? I can't see the spot. Ian Etheridge is going to say first down. And let's see where they put it down. Oh, he's got the first down. Got it by a yard. So LH picks up the first down. First down and 10. As we go to the 11.52 mark. Clock turning. LH on top. Second quarter score. Six to nothing. 52 yard strike. Bosnick to King. PAT blocked. And LH now has it at the 36 yard line. Twins to the left side. One back set behind. Bosnick back. Floats it over the middle. He's got Price and he's got a first down. And oh, he takes a licking at the end of the play. Big time hit coming on the pursuit from Terry Diamond. And again on the play, good for the first down. Pick up. Let's, let's see, we were at the 35. About a 17 yarder, I believe. There we go. First down and 10. LH leading at 6 0 at the 11 minute mark. Sprint out right side, nice little hole, hitting up inside is Lyon. He has got 15 yards and he has got a Mustang first down. Up from the secondary to make the hit and comes Sean Smith. First down and 10, LH moving it to the 34 yard line. So that fourth down gamble, looking awfully good right now. Mustangs lead it by the count of six nothing in driving. Into the lineup for AG. Will come number 75, Sean Gaster. First down and 10. Boy, Lyon is running hard here. We're going to sprint it out to the left side again. Hits his own man, but still gets ahead for a couple as he takes it to the 30-yard line. Coming up to uh, make the hit, I believe it was Foster. So a gain of four, second and six, 10.25 to go. 
LH sustaining a ground attack for one of the few times here this year as Fransek checks to the huddle with Bosnick. King goes wide to the left side. That offensive line doing a nice job. Key play, couple key plays on this one. 17 yard throw to uh, Price and the 15 yard run. And here comes Lyon breaking tackles and he's gonna be close to the first down. Gonna be just shy at the 25 yard line. Line on the carry is stopped by Diamond. And Terry Diamond, number 74 was there. Five, third, down and one. third and one will be the call at the 950 mark. LH on top, six to nothing. They're in four down territory, so they're going to have two pops at picking up a yard here. So let's see if they keep it. Uh, now they got uh, 82. First time we've seen this. Tight end, Wally leads the block. He got in front, and there's the first down carry, I believe by Lyon, and so Lyon becoming a workhorse on this drive. Let's see, we're premature. I said first down, but uh, I think they're going to have to measure it. We got an official's timeout, and they'll bring it in from the far side, away from us. We're situated right at the 50-yard line. Now, let's see the stretch. And he, my friends, has got the Mustang first down. There's a good look at it. As Jerry zooms in on the camera, I want to remind you again, TV side, Sunday, 6.05, Channel 62. South Union Township Sports Network coverage. I want to say hi to Bob Schiffbauer. Saw him earlier this week down at the township. Asked him if uh, he'd be down here tonight. He said he'd be uh, watching on radio. So <laughs> we'll give a greeting out to Bob. And I'll tell you, he was a heck of a moving force in getting uh, all of our TV work off the ground seven years ago. First down and 10 now. LH motion now. Price sets up now as the tight end to the right side. They'll sprint out and give it off to line. Bosnick indicates it's a win. I'll tell you, because as he he handed off. He raised his right fist in the air as if he saw it open, and it did. It's going to be, uh, we got a flag coming in late. Let's see the call. Face mask, which way? AG. So a gain of nine, and this will be half the distance. Line of scrimmage is near the 16. So this should put it down inside the 10, maybe at the 8, and should be first and goal there. This drive at the 70, uh, started at the 25, following an AG punt, and LH moves it first and goal at the 850 mark, leading it six to nothing. Six nothing, your score, LH with the touchdown strike to uh, Rusty King. Bosnick checks to the sideline, gets the call. Clock running at the 839 mark. He breaks and sends Darrell wide to the right side. Left side, he comes over here with uh, King. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Bosnick sprint out right side. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And down goes Lyon. Plisco was there. Diamond was there. And a loss. So it'll be back to the 10-yard line. Second and goal. Second and goal from the 10. Boy, it is important, imperative, that you get this into the end zone and get up two touchdowns. Because AG has not generated a lot of offense all year long. You get a two-touchdown lead. Back to throw Bosnick. Looking, setting up, and he is swarmed under. Diamond again coming through. And looks like Brookins. So they get to him, and it's back at the 15. Third down and goal at the 15. He had a little bit of time, and then all of a sudden it all broke down, and he was smothered. So 7.30 to go, 6 nothing LH. This is a big series by AG. After a first and goal at the 8, LH looking third and goal at the 15. King comes out wide to the left side. Back to throw. Boss, they're going to throw a little fade to the corner incomplete for Samuel. Good coverage. Vincinelli on the coverage. And a little talking going on between LH and AG, and you hate to see that start early. So the field goal will be attempted, and it's going to be a long one. It'll be out at the 22-yard line. This will be a 23-yard attempt as Gitep will set it down. Davis, here's the snap. They come through, the kick on the way, just underneath. And it's short. Davis' kick is up and no good. 
So AG will take over. They dodge a bullet. 7-11 to go. 6-0 your score. LH on top. LH missed a golden opportunity to jump up by two scores. Davis's kick was down the middle and just under the crossbar. I'm surprised he got it off because it, to me it looked like that baby was going to be blocked. Perkins comes out over it. First down and 10. Aaron Troutman comes out here wide to the right side. That's Skip Lavery. With split backs behind, motion now will come from Sweeney. They're going to pitch to Dews. He hits the left side. He's got some running room, and Etheridge closes it in a hurry after a short gain. Looked like that play might work. Very short gain at the seven-minute mark. Second down and nine. Six minutes and 50 seconds left until halftime. Line of scrimmage is the 20 to the 21. It'll be second and nine. Out here wide to the right side. For AG comes Roderick. And the handoff goes up inside. And Russell and Etheridge there waiting right at the point. And Todd Russell, the sophomore, sticks him. Third and nine. No game, third down nine. Clock running with 6.20 to go. Good defensive play. I tell you, this is as good as we have seen LH defensively all season long. Etheridge playing a bang up game. Bobby Neverdale has had some fine plays inside, as has uh, Jared Kingston. Price and number 82 for LH. Jeremiah Wally, flip-flop at the defensive end. LH going with four men. The rush coming, passing up the middle. Tipped by Etheridge and almost picked off. Good work by the linebacker floating back as they try to get it to Troutman. Fourth down, 552 to go. LH sends Samuel and King back deep. Good defensive stop by LH, as you would think AG might add some momentum going after a great defensive series. In to do the punting is Myers. Line of scrimmage at 20, very high snap, and he gets it out of there. Nice job. This one will hit short, and like a wedge, it's going to stop dead. It'll go at the 48-yard line. LH will have it first down and 10 with 542 to go. We are in the uh, second quarter, and LH on top by the count of six to nothing. Put it at the 47, LH up a touchdown. So this drive will start 53 yards away from pay dirt. LH hanging right there and AG hanging right there. Two evenly matched ball clubs defensively. Justin Grimes checks in as David Yowler will come to the sideline on first down and 10. Tight end going right you got everything set to the right side, and guess where they're going with it? Travis Matthews gets up inside. He has got 10 yards, and he's got a Mustang first down. Pick up of 11. Up from the secondary comes Jared Plisco. 11-yard pickup. Clock running five and a half to go. This is as much offensive production here in his first half as LH has had probably other than the Greensburg game with the three long touchdown passes, this is as good as this offensive uh, line has looked. Motion, left, Mossick's got some running room. He's gonna fire, he's got his man King at the 18 yard line. Mosnick had some running room, saw King come free and gunned it upfield at the 18 yard line. He went to the ground immediately. So a big game, what do we got guys, about 18? Didn't even... Okay, that sounds good. 18 on the play. 18 yards on the pickup. First, 24. Let's make it 24. First down and 10. Wide to the right side comes King. To the left side will go Samuel. LH up six, trying to make it more. Price will come left. All the strength is to the short side, and guess where they're coming? Sprint out left side, and guess who's waiting in the hole? Number 20, Odell Brookings. I tell you, LH has been down here twice now, and they nailing. Big loss on the play. 425 and counting. Need the second score. I'm telling you right now, it's very imperative you put this baby into the end zone. 
It's at the 20 hash mark to the left sideline to the right side. 50-50 drawing, so get your tickets off. Daryl Samuel, Rusty King, go to that side. Bosney, straight back. Now he's going to roll to the right, looking. Looking to the end zone, setting up. Pressure comes, fire up the middle. He's got his man Samuel. And he's going to be shy of the first down, but a nice throw downfield to the 11, maybe 10 yard line. It's going to be third down and about four. Third down and six nothing LH, but they're knocking again. He rolled to the right side that time and looked and looked deep, looked deep, and then saw Samuel come free shy of the first down. So he set themselves up where you got maybe two cracks at it. Third down and four. Travis Matthews is the lone back set. LH up six, looking for more. They're going to hand off left side. Travis has a hole, and he breaks to about the four-yard line. And he has got the first down. Let's see where they put it now. First and goal for LH. First and goal. Again, the and there to make the hit for AG is Jake Roderick. So let's see where they spot it. Right at the five-yard line. You gotta punch this in. Get this touchdown. And then you get the ball to start the third quarter, second half. Bosnick under center. Hand off left side. Travis dips, goes, drives. He's going to get close. And did he get in? No. Fischel raises his right hand second down. I thought he was, Let's see where he got to it. Oh, he's close, Jerry. Here's a good look at it. At the one-yard line. Second and goal. Second and goal for one. This would be a 53-yard scoring drive if we can punch it in at the 225 mark. Travis Matthews is the lone back set. Boy, they got a passing formation. Let's see if Bosnick just keeps it. He does, and it wedges right. Is he in? Touchdown! Bosnick, Bosnick for the touchdown. Touchdown. One-yard run by Bosnick. Caps the 53-yard drive. Key play was the 24-yard pass to uh, Samuel. And LH will go for the PAT here. Up 12. I thought they'd go two for two. Maybe an effort to give some confidence here to the kicker. They fake, and he's rolling right. He's passing into the end zone. He's got his man. Gitep fires to Matthews for the PAT. And that makes it 14-0. LH will be back in 60 seconds. Yeah, we'll be going to halftime after this. LH will tee it up. I want to say thanks to Mike Fell over here to my right, doing a fine job with the PA announcing. And uh, may mention the fact years ago, Midget League or Little League All Star game that we uh, did on radio down at Mason Town. He was there, and that was quite a few years back. There's a short kick, and I'll tell you, nice job by the lineman. I'm going to tell you, nice job right there by number 65. I don't think that was an onside. They just didn't want to kick it deep, and Art Craig grabbed it and gave him good field position, 2.10 to go. So that's not what Jack wanted. He wanted that ball kicked past that line and squibbed down the field, but a nice job by Craig. Although a dangerous play, he made the play. LH on top, 14 to nothing. Recap that last drive. It was 53 yards. The touchdown came at the 211 mark on uh, the run by Bosnick and the PAT. Gitep to Matthews to make it 14 nothing. Pitch to the right side. Look out. They're going to throw. He's coming wide open and he overthrew him a mile. Oh my goodness. Coming free all alone. Down that sideline was number 30, Jake Roderick. And if it's on the money, it's six. Boy, LH bit. Oh, you got to be in a little bit of a prevent, guys. You cannot be caught in, the, in that mess. Woo! Second and 10. You got to be playing back a little bit right now. The 203 mark. 14 nothing. LH on top. You got to play that secondary a little loose right now. Under center is Lavery. Hand off to Sweeney. He hits up inside. Breaking tackles. And finally, Etheridge puts him down. 
Hit initially by number 82. Jeremiah Wally. Clock continues to run. I thought AG might take a timeout. It's third down and what we caught a three or four guys. Long three. Long three, a short four. 137 to go. LH with Cranach is the deep safety. He's had an interception already today. He and Vincinelli both. Gietep will lay off a little bit. Play a little soft back in that second there. Boy, they're taking their time. They're going to run a reverse right side. Coming with it is Troutman. Hits the left side. Steps out of one tackle. Gets down the sideline. And he is driven out of bounds at the 30 or the 25 yard line. Oh. And we got a late hit or a clip. Gietep comes up clapping and he was blasted. Let's see the call. Holding. And that nullifies it. Oh. This one will come back. Oh. If you're an AG fan, that's just putting a dagger right in your heart right there because uh, nice reverse. They set it up beautifully. Troutman got it where? Down about to the 25-yard line or thereabouts. And they'll move it to the 42-yard line. And at the 113 mark, make it third down and 12. That clock is still running, guys, and they're waiting, 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 and now what do we get? 105 to go. And Ken Perkins leads him out. Out over the ball, they come. Wide to the left side will go Troutman. At the 105 mark, LH 14 nothing, and finally AG wants a timeout. Timeout on the field at the 105 mark, 14 nothing, LH. We're going to take a break on the radio side. I'm John Kazarek for Q99. Let's pause for this 60 second timeout. 105 to go as we come back. LH late in the second quarter, late in the first half, leading it. Back to throw Lavery. Going to fire deep downfield. And tipped away. Nice play by Gita. Oh, he climbed the ladder and tipped it out of there. Brings up fourth down with 59 seconds to go. LH is going to get it back one more time. It'll be interesting to see how they handle it depending on the return and field position, you might see LH uh, try and air it out as opposed to just sitting on it. <laughs> In to do the punting is Steve Myers. He's done a nice job. LH coming with a four-man rush. And that's all they're coming with. Kick is away, end over end. Rusty King will get it on about to the 15 and go out of bounds immediately. So that changes, I think, uh, whatever thought Jack Beaner might have had to look for more. I think right now it's necessary just just come back and kneel on it. Put the knee to the ground and go into the locker room up two touchdowns. You cannot make a tactical error down here, turn it over, and put AG right back in it. Mike Fell made a good point here a couple of minutes ago. It seems like uh, he said when AG has made some positive things here tonight, they've had two big plays nullified by holding penalties. So here we go. Just take the knee on it, Mike. I'm saying Mike, I'm saying Danny. The handoff goes up inside Travis. Big hole, 20, 25, and out across. And he's got the first down to the 32-yard line. Gain of about 17. Uh, Put it down across the 30. Now, do you take a timeout if you're LH? You do, with 42 seconds to go. We'll keep it right here. Just hold on and recap the scoring plays. LH leading at 14 to nothing. 52 yard strike, Bosnick to King. At uh, the 759 mark of the first quarter, 22 yard run by Travis Matthews on third and long. On a draw play was a key to keep it going. PAT by Davis was blocked, 6-0, LH. LH got close again, and Dieter Davis just came up short on the 32-yard field goal. LH got the ball back again, drove it 53 yards, and scored on a one-yard run by Bosnick at the 2-11 mark of the second quarter. A nice uh, drive key by the running of uh, young uh, number 22 for LH, Nick Lyon. 
a couple of backs running hard here tonight for LH Billy Beaner Jr. into the <coughs> backfield and out of the backfield as uh, he checks with Bosnick and the play call. LH now in a position where maybe they might want to throw it. They run a little reverse. Daryl Samuel getting the block from Price. High stepping it up the right sideline. Picks up seven yards. And let's see if LH just lets it run. Down to 29, 28, 27 seconds to go. And I'll tell you what, if they were going to take a timeout, should have taken it about eight seconds sooner. Timeout on the field, 24 seconds to go. LH stops it, leads it 14 to nothing, and we're going to take a 60-second timeout. We, my friends, will be right back with LH on top by two touchdowns. We jump back on the TV side now. Get the radio call here coming in a second as Bosnick with 24 seconds to go is going to run a little draw. Up inside, Travis Matthews is hit down. And Brookins made the hit. LH in a hustle. Keith Bullish, number 51, is in there right now. 75, Braun. 79, uh, Grimm. Etheridge, 50. And just stay in the hall. data, baby. Just let it run out. Let's go into that locker room up. Nope, they're going to take a timeout. LH took timeout again, so we'll keep it here. LH takes their third and final timeout of the half with two seconds remaining until halftime. Down. And two. LH, going to be interesting to see what kind of stats we put together here today. By far, our most impressive showing ever since the late Trobe game. LH that night, I believe, would they get three touchdowns out of Bosnick? They remember the long throw to King for the touchdown. So AG is going to send uh, Sean Smith 25 yards back off the ball. And they're going to try, and LH is going to send it down for Daryl Samuel. He airs it up there, and Samuels tips it, and incomplete at the horn. Nice pass by Bosnick. He aired it out of there. So we, my friends, have come to the end of the first half from Colonial Stadium here, the home of the Albert Gallant Colonials, and LH on top by the count of 14 to nothing. We'll be back with the halftime uh, stats, the halftime scoring plays, and the halftime show by the bands. All of that coming up following this five John Kazarek uh, for Q99 and with Jerry DuPay for the South Union Township Sports Network. And down below, uh, the LH Marching Band continues to perform. And I think you can pick that up in the background. So uh, let's right now take a look at the stats and scoring plays as we have them, as we get ready in a few minutes for the AG Band. Laura Highland struck pay dirt first, and they got the touchdown on a 52-yard pass. Bosnick to King, then cap. A 70-yard uh, scoring drive, and I believe it was on their first possession. A 22-yard run by Travis Matthews on third 
and Long on a draw play kept the drive going and then the strike from Bosnick to King. In the PAT, Dieter Davis was blocked at the 7.59. Mark Ellis led it 6-0. The teams exchanged interceptions early in the late in the first uh, quarter. Interception by Cranach saw LH move uh, deep into uh, AG territory, but a field goal attempt was blocked. And Vincinelli with a nice uh, interception for AG, but they could not capitalize. Then with 2.11 remaining in the second quarter, LH on their third good offensive uh, drive of the night, took it 53 yards after an AG punt. And Bosnick uh, with the one yard run for the TD Lion with an excellent job running on the drive and a key pass to uh, Samuel that got him close to a first down and they were able to keep the drive going. The PAT uh, for uh, LH was good. Two-point conversion from the fake extra point. GTEP rolled and hit Matthews in the corner and uh, the half ended with LH on top 14 to nothing. The stats for LH, very productive offensively. 12 first down. Travis Matthews, 10 carries, 57 yards, 8 for 41 for uh, Lions. And Bosnick, uh, 6 for minus 4, but a 1-yard run for a touchdown. Passing-wise, Bosnick is 5 of 9 for 110 yards, 1 interception and 1 TD, and that TD coming to King, as King has 2 catches for 76 yards, 2 for 18 for Samuel, and 1 for 16 for Price. L.A. Shaw top 14, nothing on John Kazarek for Q99, and for the South Union Township Sports Network. We're coming right back in a few minutes to pick up the Albert Gallatin Marching Band. We'll be right back tonight on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Laura Highlands Academic Foundation thanks there in particular uh, Marcy Pollock. Uh, Jim Wolfslagle, uh, good friend of ours, another great job officiating, fine real estate agent. National City, uh, of course, I want to say thanks there to Lee Frankhauser, the John and John. The attorneys and the law firm there, thanks to Simon. Uh, Uniontown Toyota and our good friend there, Mr. Don Creeshock. Dow Construction, I want to say thanks to uh, Mr. Walter Wally and Doty. Midtown Foodland, the Gizmondis. I want to say thanks also to uh, Vic and Patty. Also to uh, Kazmarski, Stephen Kazmarski Funeral Home. Uh, while we talk about the Kazmarskis, want to make mention of Robbie, who was here today. Saw him before the game, Laurel Highlands head basketball coach. Or, no, excuse me, Albert Gallatin, head basketball coach. Also want to thank the Laurel Highlands uh, football boosters and the accounting firm of Smith, Lewis, Chess, and Company. So Laurel Highlands will get the ball to start the second half. Bobby Neberdale, number 59 will be on that blocking line up front for LH. Also, uh, Justin Bolish, number 12. Number 51, Keith Bolish. 24 across the way, Billy Dice. And big number 71, Chris Saunders. I want to say hi to Mary Ann and Jennifer, who are watching tonight. Back deep for LH, twin safeties, I think. That's Travis Matthews, and I think that is Daryl Samuel. So, we are ready to roll. The run up and the kick is headed short. Got to get on it. It skips to the 15, taken there by Samuels. Yeah, some room right side, but he can't get to the corner. Ball loose and AG's on it. Bubble recovered by Antonio. Number 23, I think it was Tim Tracy. 433, Brandon Swain, he couldn't see. No, it was number 23, Tracy, who uh, made the hit. It was a grind. Terry Diamond got the ball, so wow, big break for at the 14-yard line, and oh my goodness. Okay, let's put it down rather close to the 20-yard line. First down and 10 AG. Their best field position of the night, Lavery. Straight back, looking, firing, man open, incomplete. Second and 10. So a good opportunity presents itself for the Colonials. Put it at the 21-yard line. Incomplete brings up second and 10. So this will test the defense. Kickoff, return, fumble recovery by AG at the 21-yard line. There's a good look at the uh, AG offensive huddle. 
Second down and 10. Under center, that's Skip Lavery. Lavery gonna hand it off up inside and taking it for some yardage is number 33, Swainy. He is cut down by Kingston, number 72. Third and five. Third and five. They're in four down territory, no question, at the 11.30 mark. Out of that lineup comes number 88, Aaron Trotman. I tell you, AG scores here. It is a new ball game, my friends. Perkins leads them out, 14-0. This is a key, key defensive stand here for LH. Under center is Lavery. On third down. He's going to fake, roll right. Throw into the middle. Pass broken down by LH. Whoa, Geekep getting there. And Bosnick was there. They all closed on it. A nice play by Lyon. So that brings up fourth down and five. AG wanting the interference call in the lineup for AG. Will come number two, Mike Troutman. And this is a key play for both ball clubs. Fourth and five from just outside the 15-yard line. Lavery back, pressure coming, fires downfield, knocked down and almost intercepted by Cranach. Would have had his second interception. LH dodges a bullet. Woo! Did we get a break? First down and 10, LH now at the 15-16 yard line. First down and 10 now, LH with it. Out over the ball comes Ward. Can't say enough good things about that offensive line. We'll try and spot him for you here on this next possession. The handoff up inside and they break it out of there for good yardage. That's either Matthews or Lyon. Let's take a look. Still, he won't turn toward us. Gain on the play of eight. Second down and well, second and three. Let's see who we got in there right now. That was Lyon on the carry. 22 and 28 both look a lot alike. So although uh, Travis might be just a little taller. Second down. Left side. Hitting inside. Nothing going there. Boy, that hole closed in a hurry. Big time hit uh, by Sean Foster. Third down. 14 nothing. LH. 10-12 to go. LH dodged a bullet. I'll tell you right now, did they ever? Fumble recovery by Diamond. Set him up at the 21-yard line. They got to the 16 and turned it over on down. Ward comes out over the football. King comes out here wide to the left side. Let's see if they go with the running play. They slip it off to Travis, and he might have the first down. They're very close. Let's see. No. Let's see where it's going to be. He's going to be shy of it. Fourth down. Fourth and one. Don't be surprised right here if they don't short snap it to Matthews. I've seen it happen so many times. Oh, this is a little too deep maybe in your own territory. And L.A. doesn't have enough people out there. And I tell you, they have had a lot of trouble with their kicking game. And they're going to take a timeout. 9.22 to go. 14 nothing third quarter score. L.H. up on top. We, my friends, will be back following this 60-second timeout. L.H. will kick it out. They're on fourth down. In a high snap. The rush comes, and he just does get it out of there. He hits a good one. Fielded on the fly by Sean Smith, and down he goes. Ian Etheridge led the charge. This is about as good as we have seen Ian all year long. He's got a fine year, but he's a dominant player out there tonight. First down and 10 at the 47-yard line. Want to say hi to Mr. and Mrs. Etheridge. Watching and listening tonight. And Ian having a heck of a game here this evening. So 48-yard line it is. First down and 10. Good field position, A.G., as they start their second drive of the second half at the 9-14 mark. Kenny Perkins comes out over the football. Big number 75, Sean Gaster, leads him out. Steve Myers right alongside of him. Motion from Troutman. 
And a handoff goes to Lavery, and he hits a wall right there, Jared Kingston. But good hard running by Sweeney. Took nothing and got three out of it. I'll tell you, he was popped. Big number 72, Jared Kingston with the hit. Second down. Seven. Clock running at the 8.50 mark. This is a big drive, big possession for A.G. As Perkins leads them out. Long count. Look out, Neverdale coming, and a good move by the quarterback to step out. And he's got big yardage downfield and runs through a tackle, finally hit out of bounds after a gain of 5, 10, 15 yards. Kevin Rooker makes the hit, gain of 15. And it'll be a first down and 10 for AG. I tell you, backside pressure came from Bobby Neverdale. First down and 10. Watch that, these lights, very low down here. And you, if you don't, if you take your eyes up just a second, you get a real almost blind spot. Draw handoff and coming for big yardage and a big tackle at Swaney. Hits it up inside. And I think it was Bosnick that really rocked him good. And he was shaken up. Big hit by Bosnick. Second down and five. Timeout on the field. 7.47 to go. 14 nothing. Is he up? Okay, he's up. So injury timeout. I don't think it'll be a charge timeout. No, they're just going to come up and get him out of there. Number 33, Brandon Swaney on an official's timeout. Now, our depth chart is right. That should send uh, Plisco in as the backup tailback. And there he is, Jared Plisco, the junior. Steps in and second down and six. Ball is at the 29-yard line. Clock running with 7.39 to go. LH up 14-0 third quarter. Under center, Lavery. And a handoff up inside to Dews, and he breaks the head. Has maybe the first down. Bosnick on the tackle. Let's see the spot. And it's going to be short. Third and one. Big play coming for LH right now at the 717 mark. Putting it down near the 25. Let's see where we're looking at it. Third down. I tell you, you can see the moisture and the breath down here. It's getting chilly, third down. We're gonna watch it on a monitor here. Lavery, handoff Plisco, first down and then some. He is ridden down by Russell, I believe. First down, Colonials are inside the uh, 20 at the 18 yard line. Clock running, 6.47 to go. AG with a nice drive. This one got started at the 45-yard line. LH leading at 14 to nothing, but AG on the move. There's Lavery under center. Oh, big hole for Dews, and it closes in a hurry. Wow, nice play by Rooker. That looked like it was going to break big. Going to carry, he picks up two, second down, eight. Nice play by Rooker. I tell you, if he doesn't make that play, it's first down yardage, if not touchdown yardage, because that hole was there. It comes up big with the play. Second down and eight. Six minutes to go. Ball is at the 18-yard line, third quarter. LH needs a defensive play here. Second and eight. Lavery under center, straight back. Looking, throwback screen, and good read by LH. And let's see, was the ball on the ground? No. <laughs> Could not see who got the play. Was that David Yowler? <laughs> yeah, David Yowler, third down and five. Throwback screen, and a gain of about four. We'll make it third and four now. Time remaining, 5.21 to go, 14 nothing. Out over the ball they come, Perkins leads the way. They're in four down territory, need a good surge defensively here. 
They're going to pitch it. They're going to throw it. Klitschko. Oh, he steps out of the rush. He's got running room. He's gone. 15, 10, dives. Did he get their touchdown? What a play by Klitschko. He should have been sacked. He wasn't sacked. And he takes it the distance from 14 yards out. 15 yard run by Plisco, he was wrapped up, but once he broke contain, he was gone. Oh, Gage is right back in it. Wow. It comes at the 457 mark. PAT is coming. It's on the tee, and plenty of leg. It's up and good. And Sean Smith makes it a 14-7 game. 4.57 to go. LH leads it 14-7. We'll be back. Who had him back there with us? 55-yard scoring drive is what we have. Uh, Sean Smith's PAT caps the uh, dry 15-yard run by Plisco on a busted play. He wanted to throw a halfback pass. LH had him wrapped up, but he stepped out of that, and my goodness, it was wide open to the left side, and he had the presence of mind and the speed to reverse it. And I want to say thanks to uh, young Mr. Plisco because he helped us out here before the ball game. Short kick taken is that Samuel coming to the left side breaks out of there and he's still coming up that sideline into the middle of the field and gets good field position to the 34 yard line knocked off his feet there by Jake Roderick Jared Plisco and LH now gut check time right here you got to move this ball right down the field Re-establish control. First down and 10. LH with it. Hand off. Oh, Travis Matthews as he makes the cut is pinned down by Plisco and actually slipped down on his own. Brookins was there also. Second down and 11 at the 436 mark. LH on top, 14-7. Got now to reestablish control. And then AG with all the momentum now. Old Mo has changed. Seven point LH lead and AG firing off the line. They're gonna fire up field and it is intercepted by Albert Gallatin. And I tell you, Jared Plisco coming up with another great play. Plisco with the INT, it's at midfield. 14-7, your score. Here come the Colonials. 4.15 to go. What a play by Plisco. Very fine young man. Mannerly, soft, well-spoken kid up here. Very intelligent young guy. And he's had himself quite a game. Under center is Lavery. Lavery, they're going to run a reverse. Coming. And they got it to Troutman. He's got running room. Oh, he steps out of one. He fumbles the ball, and LH is on it. Deep tap got it. Oh, what a break. Troutman almost took it the distance. Oh, he got it stripped, and deep tap. Woo, what a big fumble recovery. Nice move by Aaron Troutman. He had running room from the 50. He was down inside the 30-yard line, and LH got a break. First down and 10. Mustangs have it. Bumble recovery by Gitep. Hand off left side. Here comes a big hole straight up the middle. Matthews, he's got running room across midfield, and Travis Matthews rips it out for more than 20. Takes it from the 29. And takes it all the way. About 22, 23 yards that you got. Okay, 23 yards and a big play there. 23 yards officially on the carry. LH sends Creighton. Etheridge, Justin Ward on that center and left side. On first down, Bosnick rolling. 
Quick pass in the flat, incomplete. 14-7, LH on top, 3.29 to go. LH with two first half touchdowns, AG. The big play by Plisco here in the second half to make it a seven point game. Second down and 10. Good ball game. I'm going to tell you right now, two teams with only a win apiece, but I'll tell you, they're playing their heart and souls out here tonight. Second down. Handoff left side to Travis. He hits a wall and gets about three or four. Diamond on the stop. Third down and seven with 3.15 to go. The clock running. The line of scrimmage is, where are we at, guys? 45-yard line, I believe. 45-yard line, third down. If nothing else, if you don't get it here, at least you've moved it, moved it out where you should be able to get a good punt and pin them back a little bit. H-back strong to the right side. Let's see if they run to that side. They're going to throw. Bosnick going to air it out. And, oh, my goodness. Right through the hands of uh, King at the goal line. I thought, no way. But he put a burst on and actually got open. He was well covered by Troutman. But Jerry at the last second. Wow, did he accelerate through that. LH will kick it out of here. AG may come with a block. Here's the snap. They do. And he got it out of there. Nice kick. And the ball loose. And did LH get on it? Ian Etheridge is there. And did LH get it? Looked like Etheridge had it. Or is that Price? Is it Etheridge? Etheridge got it, right, Jerry? So LH has it now at the 15-yard line. The fumbled punt. And LH will have it at the 15, first down and 10. It's at the 15. Etheridge with the recovery. Hand off left side. Boy, was he blitzed under that time as number 39 Foster got there. Foster on tackle. Laurel Highlands will lose to second down 12. Second and 12 with 2.25 to go. Bosnick sends him out. On second down. Let's see if they throw. A fake, and here's Bosnick rolling, has some running room, 15, he's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he is at the 5 yard line. Out in front, King. Out in front, blocking, and they're going to put it inside the 5, let's see where they put it, Jerry, right at the 4. So it's first down and goal at the 4. Fumble recovery was where, at the 15? Mm -hmm. All right, it is first, and goal. first and goal at the four. Nice run by Bosnick. At the two minute mark, handoff Matthews, big hole. Is he in? Touchdown, Travis Matthews. Big hole on the right side. And Matthews, a four yard run. Wow. This caps a 15-yard drive set up by Etheridge's recovery. Here's the kick on the way, and up and good by Dieter Davis. So LH now gets that lead back to 14. 21-7, two minutes to go. Third quarter, LH up 14. We'll be back in 60 seconds. 21, I think I said 14-7, 21-7 LH. Four touchdowns in this ball game, three by LH and one by AG. And the PAT by Dieter Davis was good. LH on top by the count of 21 to seven. The run up, there's a squib kick down the sideline and out of bounds it'll go and the flag thrown. This will come out where, Chuck, for the 40, I believe. We'll see, it's either 35 or 40. Let's see where they put it down. First and 10 AG, leading our LH leading at 21 to 7. And we'll put it at the 35 yard line. 
First down and 10. John Kazarek for two. Now, Travis Matthews having a nice ball game today. He's uh, closing in on a big night. 83 yards on the evening. First down and 10. Lavery leads them out. Two minutes to go. Hand off to Dews, up front, big hole, and he is cut down by line, but he got 11, 12 yards in the first down. So AG moving the ball well. Turnovers in this second half have killed him. He turned it over twice. Once stopping a potential tying drive, and the second time setting up an LH touchdown. 140 to go. First down and 10, it's at the 46-yard line. Lavery, Swaney, big hole left side. He's got five, maybe six, before you stop by Price and Lyon, I believe. Yeah, Lyon on the stop, second down and six. I'm gonna start looking on the monitor here. Jerry does such a fine job on the close zoom-in shots. 110 to go. This is a big drive for AG. The ball.
a flag on a play. That's all everything. This one will be a 10-yard mark-off at the 358 mark. And 